Hey everybody, uh, this is Michael from Weekend Cruiser and um, I'm here on the ferry heading over to Vancouver Island uh, just about to go on our first weekend cruise with our new sailboat and um, I just wanted to talk to you and tell you guys why I wanted to start this channel in the first place and um, basically I, I watch a lot of sailing on YouTube and I, I used to do a little bit of sailing when I was a kid and I wanted to in incorporate that uh, back into my life uh, because I live in a, near Vancouver and near the ocean and it just seems like um, that we should have some some form of water ocean dwelling kind of experience while we live here it just seems silly not to have that in our lives and from all of the YouTube stuff that I have been watching you know I I thought to myself like they there's lots of good channels that if you want to move and buy a sailboat and sail around the world and sell everything and you know you know like go through the Panama Canal and all these different big sailing dreams which I think are super cool and I love watching all of those but I couldn't really find a lot of stuff on sailing you know for someone who who just wants to have it more in, in their life and um, so my, my goal with this channel is to bring you guys uh, bring you guys with me on weekend trips on a small sailboat where where we can uh, explore around British Columbia the Gulf Islands um, and and basically uh, just more more give something to to the people who who don't want to commit that full uh, sailing experience and live aboard experience but want to have uh, a sailboat um, gonna be doing it on a budget for most of the time um, and yeah we can't wait to show you the sailboat we got it's a 21 foot San Juan 1974 so it's almost a 50 year old boat and just just we haven't we haven't been out on it much and we're just excited to get out there and try this out so hope you guys are gonna come with me and really looking forward to it and you guys to check out view of the Strait of Georgia right now. Hey guys, um, so we made it onto our boat, but uh, that was last weekend, but um, we didn't go out because of the weather, and um, we're finally back on it now to check it out, reorganize, make sure we're ready to go for this weekend, and we're going to be leaving for the first time and sleeping on the boat for the first time um, this Saturday, so looking forward finally for the first weekend cruise on our little Sam 121 here.
So one thing I really like about the boat um, is these little string lights that the previous owner put in and Hannah thinks that's super funny. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling the channel. It's um... I am talking to you too. You're here. He, yeah, the previous owner, his name's Mike, and he uh, he put all these string lights in, and they really look cool in the in the cabin here. just left uh, the marina uh, on our first weekend trip. We're gonna stay overnight uh, at Sydney Spit, which is um, a little island in the Gulf Islands. As we exited the marina, we passed the location of a fuel dock and sailboat fire that happened only a few weeks before, a stark reminder of how important safety is at all times on the water.
we know this motor works. We tried it the one time before and we like it. And we hate this motor for some reason. <laughs> it just it it stops working. We don't like it. We're still gonna keep going to Sydney Spit um, because it's not far away and we, we have a, an extra tank of gas, so that I'm gonna try and get this one back working probably on the island, but um, at least it's a nice calm day and and we did well in our first sort of emergency procedure, you might call it. Hannah did really well. Um, and now we're back to boating around, weekend cruising. All right, well, it's been maybe an hour or two hours probably since we, we arrived at Sydney Spit uh, BC Marine Park, that's right. Um, yeah, well, after I, we last spoke, um, we, we saw a dolphin, you know? So you might lose a motor, but you might see a dolphin. Um, you know, some things are positive, some things are negative. Everything is a learning experience, that's for sure. But um, we kept going. It's a beautiful day out, and there's probably about five or six other boats uh, here uh, on the uh, on the moorings here. And you know, Hannah's been working on some cleaning stuff. We set up the boat. Um, one thing that I definitely realized just for going out on one night weekend trip you you really need everything you know whether you're going for one night or ten nights you pretty much need you all the provisions you would normally want to have and um, you know but that being said once you have all the stuff like I think like we have just about everything that we we need essentially um, you don't need to get it so the next time we go uh it's a one-time thing we've got all the stuff we need and you know we, we should be able to go um now i'm making this video it's the 21st or 22nd of may and as you probably all know about the the covid 19 pandemic like this wasn't really what our summer wanted to be i uh bought the boat for like almost two months ago and just wasn't able to get out on it or use it and more specifically um i i wanted to cruise with and sail it at the moment we're just using the motor um, which is why it's so important to us but all my sailing courses got postponed um for now and you know hopefully fingers crossed you know everyone is is slowly getting back on track and uh hopefully in a few weeks i'll be able to get my sailing lesson started and we'll actually start to go cruising uh around british columbia's gulf islands where we're we're located here um and yeah we won't have to rely on the motor so much uh, i wish i had that on camera but i think safety first and now i just dropped the camera well, I don't know if you guys were there for that, but I the camera just fell right off the boat and broke the back off the camera. Um, somehow it's still working, but we're uh, we're lucky, and hopefully we got that on camera. But oh man, 
everything's a learning lesson here starting starting a youtube channel starting sailing going through a pandemic but you know you got to keep going and you got to try stuff uh and do what you want to do so i think i think i'll leave it for now maybe do another video in a bit um hopefully you can see some b-roll footage of of where we are and sometime i'll i'll take do a tour of the boat as it is at the moment um, ride um, we decided to put that motor that broke earlier today back on and um, we got it working again so we're super super pumped about that uh, we're back to having one motor and a backup motor because we know the other motor works um, we're learning a lot of stuff uh, this first weekend out on the sailboat um, we see all, a lot of people with uh, with dinghies that that are able to go through the uh, the choppy water and get to get to shore, which I think we want to do at some point. But again, with the whole coronavirus stuff, we're just we're just happy to be able to be out on the sailboat now, and uh, we're definitely happy to be out here with two motors that work. So. Um, you know, the day's not over. We still got dinner and uh, sunset, hopefully. Um, but water's calmed down. It definitely feels like a nice evening is about to happen. And we got music playing. Just happy to be here. Um, and uh, hopefully we have a good, nice, calm sleep. So we'll catch you catch guys later. It's about seven o'clock now, and uh, this seems like this day is it started off hectic, but now finally things are going the way that we thought it would go uh, well we're here just cooking up some chili and, and testing out how we're gonna make some food on the boat in future trips and uh, so far so good keeping it simple and uh, yeah got chili on the burner here sun is setting and this is more like it this is more like it. what do you think Hannah yeah stuff up but it looks pretty good in here um, and we don't need the heater that's pretty good oh yeah we yeah true yeah
is still sleeping. It's about 6.30 in the morning. But, um, this, we, we had a bit of a rough night with the waves, but it's super glassy now, and I don't know, I heard, I've heard that sailing and being on the ocean and stuff is, is a bit of the best of both worlds. Um, you get animals and nature and beauty, but then you have to also deal with the, uh, you know, the other side of that, which is the weather, and that's always changing, so... Right now it's just beautiful. We have there's some um, eagles over there and fish jumping and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna reassess everything uh, when we get back into town. And um, Sunday's been. Sunday's gonna be a good day, I think, and we'll finish this weekend up. So, still looking forward to it, and still uh, looking forward to what we see today. So. looking good feels good to be on land again and, um, and that's pretty much it that's the first weekend cruise episode um, make sure you like and subscribe if you if you'd like the videos and we'll see you next time on the weekend cruiser thanks
So we just arrived in Swartz Bay and we're pulling in. 